In this video, I am going to show all the components that we include in our universal all-electric joystick kit that's designed to go on farm tractors that have load sense type hydraulics. Shown on this table is everything in the kit except for the control valve. I am going to show the control valve a little bit later in the video. So first I'm going to just quickly go through each of the components here, then I'm going to show a close-up of each component, and then I will move on to the control valve. This is the electric joystick. These are the brackets that come with the joystick for mounting it. There's a sticker for the control functions as well as a bracket for attaching the sticker to that is going to mount to the joystick base. In this kit, we're looking at a three function joystick kit. And so there's six couplers. Right here, we're just looking at the male couplers. The female couplers are already installed on the valve. And then the fittings that attach between the coupler and the hoses. This big stack here is the wiring harness. Of course, Everything is communicating between the control valve and the joystick via wiring harness. So you have a fairly substantial wiring here. Here's the installation hardware. As you can see, there's quite a few pages in the installation instructions. There's pictures. The application that I'm most familiar with is going to be controlling a front end loader with the joystick. So that's going to be the examples that I'm giving. Of course, the application can be different depending on whatever you would like, want to use the electric joystick kit for on your tractor. The joystick moves left and right, forward and back. If you're controlling a front end loader, that's going to be controlling the loader arms and the bucket. In this kit that we're looking at, it is a three function kit. And so you have two switches here. Again, in a front end loader situation, that's going to be opening and closing the grapple. This button here with the front end loader is going to be controlling float. And then these two buttons are not used with the front end loader. And then these buttons here are used for turning things on and off. For example, the joystick on and off, the third function on and off, and a few other features. As you can see, these brackets are universal. A bracket will need to be fabricated when installing this in a specific tractor cab. So these brackets will attach to a bracket that's going to be designed to match up to whatever you're attaching the joystick kit to inside your cab. This bracket is designed to attach to the side of the universal joystick brackets and then the sticker showing the joystick controls. Again, this is loader specific, front end loader specific. We'll go on there. This is the wiring harness, which as you can see is quite extensive. In this video, I'm not going to go into the specifics of how to attach the wiring harness to the control valve and to the joystick. For this video, I'm only going to point out this bit of the wiring harness. So this is just your universal female three pin amp power connector. And this is designed to plug into the auxiliary plug in your tractor cab. And if you don't have that, we do provide a male side to this as well if you need to wire it in. But the important part about this section of the wiring harness is that this is where all the power for controlling this mid mount control valve comes from. The joystick is external to the electronics of the tractor. It just needs a power source, and then everything is just built in to the joystick kit itself. The coupler style is flat face. And then this is a close up of the hardware. As you can see, there's not a lot of hardware needed um, for installing it. You may need to add additional hardware as you're installing brackets of your own design. This is the all-electric control valve in the crate that it's shipped in. 
The main reason that we're showing it in this video, still in the shipping crate, is just so you can see how well it's bolted down in the crate and that it ships very safely and you don't need to worry about any damage done to it. Of course, when it actually ships, there's packing added to it and then the other components, which were shown in the previous part of the video, are shipped inside this crate as well. So everything ships really secure and you don't need to worry about any damage in transit. Now we're going to show a close-up of the details of the control valve. Here I'm looking at the control valve as it's installed in the shipping crate. I'm looking at it from the same direction that it will be installed on a tractor. This is the top where the working hoses will be attached and then this is the bottom where the pressure return and load sense load sense is attached back here. Hoses will be connected. Starting at the top here, you can see that it is bolted to this bracket here. This bracket is just, this U-shaped bracket is just for shipping. You can see it's bolted really nice and firm to the crate. And then the actual bracket, mounting bracket of the control valve is right here. That you will use for installing the valve in this setup, it's just bolted to the shipping bracket in there. These are six couplers. The female coupler is already installed. There's six in this setup because this is a three function valve. These would be used to control the front end loader and bucket and then these two would be used to control the grapple. We also offer a two function control valve as well and of course these functions aren't necessarily controlling a front end loader. It can be whatever application you would want to want to use it for for controlling but in this video I'm using the loader as an example simply because that's what I'm most familiar with. This bracket does ship with it. It's very universal. It would normally be welded to the upright of a front end loader if that's the application is, this control valve is being used for. Um, and then the bracket here would bolt to that. Uh, of course, you can design your own bracket as well if you would prefer that when mounting the control valve. Here you have what's essentially the brains of the control valve and the joystick. Like I mentioned earlier in the video, everything about this electric joystick kit is independent of the electronics of the tractor. So everything inside here comes pre-programmed from the factory and is not dependent on the tractor electronics at all to operate. This right here is a plug. There's several other plugs on the valve as well for connecting to the wiring harness. Down here, you've got your port where your pressure hose coming from the tractor is going to attach to, your port where your return hose coming from the tractor will attach to, and then back here, it's a little bit hard to see, but you've got your port for your load sense hose also running to your tractor. The way that you're gonna fabricate your hoses and attach to the pressure return and load sense of your tractor will will vary by the tractor, of course. And then over here, you can see the third function block a little bit better as well. Here, you have what some people call an accumulator. Others call it a soft ride bulb. This is going to be attached to the control valve using these fittings here. It's going to attach to this port right here. And what this is doing is it has a bladder inside it, which allows the oil to move back and forth just a small amount. So for example, if you're driving over really bumpy ground with a heavy load on your front end loader, this will help there be a little less jolting and it's just much easier on your equipment as well as a more comfortable experience for the operator. This video has gone through the main components included in the all electric joystick kit that's designed to go on load sense farm tractors. The kit includes the joystick, the wiring harness, the control valve, the soft ride bulb, as well as installation hardware, the quick couplers, 
and a few other small brackets that are fairly universal. What you need to come up with when installing the kit is going to be tractor specific brackets for mounting the joystick and the control valve as well as all the hoses and you also do need to do your research so you know how to tap into the pressure return and load sense on your tractor. My favorite thing about this kit as someone that has sold joystick kits for a number of years is just how universal it is. So as long as you have a farm tractor that has load sense hydraulics and you have a way for tapping into the pressure return and load sense on your farm tractor, this kit can go on any of those tractors and it can be used for any application that you can dream up um, for your tractor that you want to control, especially if you're wanting to control it independent of the electronics of the tractor itself. The next thing the video is going to show is just some pictures of how this kit looks installed on different tractor makes and models. And then another note too, just to be aware is the purpose of this video was not to go into details about how to install it. It was just to give an overview of what's all included in the kit. Um, we are making a different video as well, which goes into the details of how do you hook up the wiring harness exactly? How do you attach the joystick to the wiring harness? What are some ideas for getting the wiring harness from the control valve up into the cab? because that can be done differently. What are some ideas on installing the, the joystick itself, especially with just different designs of different tractors and cabs? And what are some ideas on mounting the control valve as well? But for this video, just meant to be an overview and to give you an idea of what's all included in the kit and just some ideas on different ways that you could use it.